Hi, this is Oliver from Camelot um, and doing this interview for Metabolis. Today, Metalus hosts a special interview with Oliver from Camelot. Hi, Holly, and welcome to Italy. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, yeah, we had a little bit too much Italian wine yesterday, <laughs> so um, I still have to recover from that. But I'm sure with uh, the good food here, I will be all uh, spiced up for the gig tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, recently Camelot uh, has ended up the American tour with Eclipse and uh, Delane and uh, after a year or almost you come back to Italy mm -hmm. after the date you had in Bologna last year. So how the tour is going so far? So it's great, it's just uh, two more dates left. Um, mm -hmm. Except today, of course, that uh, would be the third one. And um, well, it was, was again great to be on tour because the last European tour uh, was last year so it's 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 always you know if you tour in November uh, or in, in winter it's, it's a little bit depressing it can be sometimes a little bit depressing you cannot go out catch some sun so that's always hard but so in the end and when the when you have the concerts you, you just pump out all the energy and get the flow back Okay, uh, as everybody knows, uh, you didn't take part in the, Euro in the American tour because of uh, some personal uh, family home-based reason. Yeah. In fact, Simone had uh, a baby, so congrats. Yes. Thank you. Um, how do you feel how, uh, to become a daddy since it's your first child? Mm. Um, well, everybody, everybody told me it, it will totally change your life and everything will be different. Um, I never liked that actually because it sounds so negative. It's a little mm -hmm. bit as if you're... You know, you cannot lead your normal life and on, on, on the one hand a lot has changed because mm -hmm. you, I'm connected to him in, in a way I wouldn't have expected, you know, it's great to have, have a baby and uh, on the other hand music is my thing, it's my job so mm -hmm. I will conti continue with this like before um, mm -hmm. so that won't have a, a, an influence except that I write now with a lot of songs about milk, diapers <laughs> uh, and, and all these things. Okay, um, for the American tour you've chosen um, Kuhn from Epica yeah. as the keyboardist. Uh, was the choice accidental or um, uh, how do you, what do you say about the, the decision of taking Kuhn from Epica for the tour? Well, um, and not everybody, I played um, actually several tours with mm -hmm. Epica replacing Kuhn. Mm -hmm. Because back then he got his baby, mm -hmm. so um, and uh, so this time it was he was the first person I asked. Mm -hmm. Not just because of that, but he's a he's a great guy, he's a great player, mm -hmm. and uh, so it, yeah, then he's my f first choice if I need a. a so was you the one in choosing this guy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean of course that's the band decision, mm -hmm. but uh, okay. in the end they all, we know it, each other from way back then. You know they were touring with us 2005. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, um, we've got to know that uh, yesterday that Talus Requiem, who are the supporter, supporter act for the tour, uh, will not take part in for this date and for the remaining date. Um, won't you, would you like to tell us the reason why? Um, I just know they had, first of all, some problems with the bus driver. Because okay. the, I don't know, some, somebody got sick at home and he had to go back, so they didn't have a driver. Mm -hmm. And second, um, I also know that the, um, you know, it's, it's really, really difficult nowadays for a new band. Yeah. I know that from Sons of Seasons, for example, it's almost impossible to have a band the first years without like losing so much money. And they were just at a point where they said, you know, these, these past, or these last gigs we have in the end of the tour, it's a lot of driving, a lot of losing money, you know, and, uh, but on the other hand, just three gigs. So they went home, but they were great guys, and I feel really sorry that they couldn't, couldn't finish the tour like intended. 
Okay, the other band that will share the stage with you is Revamp from the Netherlands. Uh, have you got the chance to know the guys from the band? The guys? Um, I and the girl, of course. <laughs> Floor, I, I know since quite many years, uh, when she was still with Up Forever. Yeah. Um, Simone and, uh, and Floor, they're good friends, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Floor was at our house uh, a couple of times. And <laughs> So I, 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 I uh, knew her way before Revamp mm -hmm. and um, she's a great, just a really nice person. We have a lot of good talks on the bus mm -hmm. and also the other guys, you know, I just experienced them, fantastic musicians, so it's fun to, to have them as a support band. Okay, uh, a very important news is uh, the one concerning the DVD that you will shoot for this tour. Is that right? Um, it's more. It's going to be more a documentary. It's okay. not like a real DVD. The, the real DVD we we are working mm -hmm. on, but that should. This will be something really spectacular and great. And we got to work on that like more than a year. Before that's Would you like to share some infos about this documentary? Will you shoot something also here in Trieste tonight? I actually don't know. I'm not the management, and sometimes there's suddenly cameras, sometimes <laughs> not. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have a clue about the organization. Okay, uh, a thing that we noticed is that uh, tonight uh, um, Alice Reed from Amarant is not, will be not here, mm -hmm. but uh, Alisa White Class from The Agonist, he's here tonight. Uh, what about this decision? Uh, how come Elise is not here tonight? Um, the um, rest she's of the just tour? busy with, with uh, Amarant mm -hmm. okay. and she couldn't, couldn't make it. Um, I mean, we had a lot of different back uh, backup singers in the past years, you know, and uh, um, Elise was, was fantastic. She's like one of the best singers out there. Mm -hmm. and, um, really funny person, so we became good friends. But um, Elisa is a great replacement and she has this um, fantastic, unique um, stage per personality, you know, and um, the growling thing is cool. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, uh, how did it happen to for Alisa to cooperate with Camelot? Uh, I, actually, I'm not sure I, were they supporting us. I have such a bad memory because I did, <laughs> I did more than 50 uh, tours in my life so far. Um, but I guess they, they played with us at a certain point of time and then you come in contact with each other and hey, mm -hmm. why, why don't you join us on tour? Okay. Why um, Simone didn't take part in the last record, for example? Because we always change things and I also remember she was um, busy with the uh, DVD they prepared. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just a, it's often a question of schedule. We need a certain singer then in a certain period and if they don't have time we have to find an alternative. Mm -hmm. um, and also Camelot is an ever-changing band, we never keep something, you know, it's always new aspects, we change something here, something there, mm -hmm. that's, that's the story of Camelot and that's why it's going on for such a long time successfully. Okay, uh, let's talk about the VIP tickets that you offer in the, the audience for this tour. Yeah. Um, I discovered that the, the VIP ticket also includes a meet and greet with the band. Mm -hmm. So how did it happen, the choice uh, of uh, offering this proposal to the fans? Actually it was something originally which was also wanted by, mm -hmm. by many fans because okay. um, often they don't have any chance to meet us in person or to sign their, their documents and stuff. Um, so we just started that whole thing, you know. For us it means of course more work during the day, we can we cannot relax or so, but it's a great great way to, to meet fans, you know. I, I, d I don't like to go out with my wet hair after showering or sweating and in front of the bus, you know, like this. It's, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we're getting sick, like we had this problem always, you know, fans are we're waiting on the bus. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay, we have to get out because else they don't get any autographs and okay. feel sorry for them. But on the other hand, we were like constantly getting sick from that, at least in, in winter, you know what I mean? So this is also a reason why we do the, the VIP stuff. Uh, what's your relationship with fans? And they are everything, you know, like without them, this band wouldn't happen, the music wouldn't happen. So what we do, we do for the fans. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you like the most about Italian people? <laughs> 
Um, you know, I'm German, um, and uh, I like the, that they just less controls, more mm -hmm. emotional. It's more they have a lot of fire uh, in themselves. So. We also have a lot of Italian people up there where I live. You know, um, I have this really nice Italian shop where I get all the specialities all the time from Italy. Uh, and um, yeah, you know, you have quite a different nature to us Germans, and um, and that's what what I like. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any nice memory related to Italian people? Oh, so many. You know, um, for example, Luca Brigiotta, the... Doro's uh, guitarist? Doro's guitarist. I, I, I um, introduced him mm -hmm. to Doro. He was a replacement for me a while and then I stayed at his house, like his, his parents, uh, like that was so great, you know, it was so, mm -hmm. so hard, warming and... and um, was really nice. So I, I, and the guys here in Trieste, like Romano, uh, Max, these guys, they are just, they are so good friends by now, you know, and we have so much fun with each other. It's just like a really genuine friendship, you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, like I'm, I'm connected to it Italy like to few other countries. You know. Okay, um, this question concerns uh, Sons of Season. We discovered about um, Enning Basse who parted ways with the band a few months ago. Yeah. Um, is there something new for the band, actually? Yes, um, actually we're really working on the third album, but mm -hmm. the point is it might even be with a different band name, because the sound will be so different, mm -hmm. the singing will be totally different, it will be more the, the way I imagined it, because originally Henning became a singer and he had a totally different style, singing style, more that traditional uh, power metal style. And so I changed the music to fit his voice. Mm -hmm. But the ori original intention for Sons of Season was a complete different one. So okay. with the third record, even if it might not even be Sons of Seasons anymore, like a different band name, same band, ma band members, different singer. Okay. Um, yeah, it will be more like it was originally planned. Okay, uh, let's back to Camelot. Yeah. So um, you released Sabathor last year. So at the moment, are you currently working on something new? As soon as we go back from the tour, um, we will start with a new record. I'm, I'm totally okay. hot for it. I have a lot of ideas, but nothing concrete yet. So I go into the studio where I'm my favorite place in the whole world, mm -hmm. except with my family, of course. <laughs> uh, and um, I will start working on new songs and I will meet with Thomas okay. and uh, in the end also with um, Tommy mm -hmm. okay. and uh, yeah then we hopefully we finish the new record like end of next year or something like that. Okay what about the future goals in Camelot? Yeah I mean it's, it's going great you know <laughs> and uh, of course we would like to uh, expand our our tours to more uh, to newer territories. Mm -hmm. There are also a lot of countries which are asking us to come, and we skipped many countries now for many years. And uh, I just would like to go to return to certain countries. You know, so. But it's it's going so so well, and if it's continuing like that, thanks to the fans, you know, then I, I would be a happy man. Or I, I am a happy, I'm a happy dude. Happy okay. German. Okay, Oli, uh, we're done. So, would you like to share the final words to your fans, of course, and our readers, viewers? Yeah, of course. I mean, thanks for your never-ending support. Um, we're always happy if you write feedback, like on Facebook or, or to us uh, personally. We we always read it, even if there's uh, most of the time like no statement from our side. But consider that, and we're happy for all that great and positive feedback and this is why we're doing this and um, I hope we have uh, many years together to come. Okay. Like a victim of violence, a call to repent, denied by the spirits of heaven, take me up again.